Hi, my name is Darren Mohabir with Spico Technologies and today I'm going to talk about easy network setup and manual network setup. We will start by right clicking with our mouse, going to easy setup, and we'll start by selecting next. Now we'll select next again. Now we want to verify that DHCP is enabled, so I will select DHCP and select apply. Now I will unselect the HCP and verify that my information is the same. Now I'll select apply and select OK. And now I'll click on next. Now we're in the DDNS menu. The DDNS menu should be enabled by default. It will have a pre-named DDNS address and it will give you the status. Now the status should say connected at this point. If it says disconnected, then you'd want to check your network connections uh, ver and verify that you do have internet access. Now we'll select next. Now we're in the UPnP menu. In this menu, you will first want to verify that enable is selected. Uh, second thing is you can unselect certain port numbers to be opened up automatically. Uh, if you want to, you can unselect certain ports. Now, just to talk a little bit about UPnP, U UPnP stands for Universal Plug and Play. What this means is that it will open up the ports for you automatically if your router supports UPnP. About 50% of the routers out there support UPnP. Uh, the other half does not. So you want to verify that your router does support UPnP and it will open up the ports for you. Uh, if the router does not support UPnP, you will have to open up the ports manually. Now we'll select next and we'll skip this part of the menu and hit next and one more time we'll select next. And now we'll hit finish and we've completed our easy network setup. Now for a manual network setup uh, you're going to right click with your mouse go to main menu now we'll go to network and we'll select TCP slash IP and we'll enable DHCP and we'll select apply and select OK and we want to verify that DHCP is unselected and we want to verify that the IP address has remained the same uh, we're doing this for the very purpose of verifying that the IP address will never change. This way your open ports will remain open. Now we'll select apply and select OK. Now that we've completed this part of it we're going to go to DDNS. Now uh, what you want to do in this menu is verify that DDNS is enabled. You'll now have a DDNS address in the domain name field so you can write that down and underneath that will be your status. You want it to say connected. If it does not say connected and it says disconnected, you want to verify that your network settings are um, I'm sorry, your network settings are enabled and uh, configured properly and verify that you have uh, internet access. Now that we've completed this part, we'll select apply and select OK. And last we'll be selecting UPnP. In this menu, you want to verify that UPnP is enabled, just as we did in Easy Setup. And you want to verify that all of the ports are selected, unless there are ports that you do not want to select, uh, just as we did in the Easy Network Setup. Now you'll select Apply, and select OK. And since we're complete, we can select Save and you've manually configured your network. To exit the menu, I'll, I will right click with my mouse. For more information on network setup and details on the NX series recorder, please visit us at www.speakotech.com.